Well, good morning. What a beautiful day it is. And uh, it's Bank Holiday Monday, again, out uh, quoting. It just seems as if the jobs are still coming in. Loads and loads of inquiries. And um, it's all looking good. It's all looking positive. I'm in B&Q again this morning. And uh, the reason I'm here is because it's easy. It's on route. And uh, I just need to pick up some commons for the wall. Uh, 146 a brick. That's not cheap. There you go. Um, we've sold uh, LBCs £1.46. Face bricks here. 94p. Here we are this morning. I've got to get a streamline on here, run that straight, and do some brick work. This is the face of the concrete that I'm going to be sticking our riser on, and that looks pretty good. Another night, I fall in your sight. Your new eyes cut sharp like a knife. Well, we've got some brickwork on. This is going to be cladded with a porcelain unit, which I'll show you later. Some block work going across there. And we've got the steps coming up through here. Just got to make sure that we maintain it square and level coming through. Well, it's cup of tea time, so just having uh, five minutes. Just been talking to Alan, our client, about what we're going to be doing going forward and how we're going to clad this wall and, you know, um, really looking forward to it. And uh, as you can see, next step now, we're going to uh, get some concrete in there now. And some people would say, well, why don't you just take it all up? You, you can do, but uh, you don't need it. You don't need to take everything away, you know. Um, we're, we're recycling as much as we can now, but if, if it can be left and if it's solid and it's not hurting on the ground, you just leave it there. So we're going to get the next concrete, the next step. Then we're going to get the next uh, step and we've got to put the, the groove in the back, the flute, uh, the capillary groove on the back. And um, yeah, it's good.
Yeah, so basically what we're, we're doing here, we're bringing a new set of steps right the way through to join up with a path before the steps were, I think they were approximately about 600 mil wide at the bottom, but they, at the end, they rounded off both sides to open up a little bit. But now they're open a lot fuller, fuller now with a 1.2 wide step, which is in relation to the paving we have on that side. So the paving is gonna come right the way through in steps in the same size I should say rather and we're going to join up this path so we're going to have a 1.2 meter wide path all the way through leading to the shed and eventually a patio in or a top terrace we would say in that part of the garden. Uh, it's so important when we look at design principles that we make sure that we bring the two areas together we've done that with the size of the paving and by opening this up it enables our clients to look through their patio doors right the way through and giving that feeling of more of an open space. The things that we got to contend with on this project, certainly with the wall and the steps, is that they've built a wall on the existing wall and they've built some steps on the existing steps that was there before. So there's two lots of steps, two lots of walls. And what we don't want to be doing is we don't want to be taking away copious amounts of waste we've got to try and re reduce the recycling and we do that by using some of the product that we have on site and not necessarily using the steps but using the hard core for our concrete for our new steps it's interesting uh, with this project is that as we're demolishing some of the previous work we're finding a certain certain style of landscaping or walling or whatever you want to call it in this case the steps were built with these rock face concrete blocks that were very in at one point probably in the 90s but certainly they're not now and what we intend to do with this project is that either side of the steps we're going to be cladding with a porcelain tile which will be in contrast to the main steps going through but it's always interesting when you go back to gardens and when you take out the path that leads up the garden it normally led to a vegetable garden with a small lawn and a garden shed and sometimes certainly if you went in the valley communities you would see some of that natural pennant stone that they just covered up and went over with a concrete product because it was square it was flat and it just looked better in their opinion at that time but as we see now Concrete flagstones aren't the best, so we can start removing those and we can use more of a contemporary modern product in our gardens. Right, so we talked about what we were gonna put on the wall and we're gonna clad the wall, okay? And we're gonna use a porcelain 800 by 800 unit and they're 10 mil. They don't have to be 20 mil when sticking to a wall. These products are a total contrast to the paving that we're using but you can still see elements of the paving in this unit itself elements of contemporary gray but also what we've got here is that we have little particles of beige color which will give the actual look and the appearance of this wall something a little bit different and just adds a little bit more value to the project itself the remarkable thing about porcelain products now is that the, the manufacturers are able to replicate any surface they can take a picture and repeat that pattern onto a porcelain product and the other thing of course is what they can also do is that they can create the same texture as well so whether it's an old piece of wood plank they can repeat that so you can have a wood effect decking in your garden but still with the advantages of porcelain Hi, it's Johnny Boy. What a beautiful day today. Look, if you're a landscaper, you like building gardens and you want to deliver for your client, you need to learn a little bit more about the industry. And on September the 9th at Styled in Banbury, they are having an event called the Landscaping Fair, where you'll have manufacturers and industry leaders talking about their products so you can gauge and understand a little bit more about the industry. 9th of September, go to their website, which is styled 
www.audioticketstudio.com and remember, order your ticket today before it's too late. Well, this is the final top step and we've concreted it in and uh, it's nice. It's got a nice fall on it coming this way from the back to the front so the water runs off and we're going to be using this thin set adhesive this morning. We don't need a thick bed of this now because the concrete's just right. This is the uh, Mapai Rapid Set. So I've got a piece of timber on the front, so uh, that'll be our, our overhang, the 75 mil there. So we're just gonna let that start to set. Because once it goes, it goes, but we don't wanna put up, be putting it on now, simply because it'll start running everywhere. So we have to let it get a little bit tacky. 